Hello friends, today I'll be talking about the final speech and exhibition curated by Wendy Amanda Coutinho. She's from Goa and this is Gallery Splash in Gurgaon. It's a very interesting exhibition where you can see the works of Viraj Nayak, Riaz Komu, Kishor Shinde, Subodh Kerkar and many other artists. It's a group show and it has a theme which is based on the final speech which was given by Charlie Chaplin in the movie The Great Dictator. Kya hai ye theme aur kya hai iski raaz, iski mystery, the line of thought. For that you have to stay with Art Keeper. And these are the works of Riaz Komu. This has shown the different atrocities being committed to a particular community in India recently after the change of government and it's it's a very political work yahan pe aap nasir sahab ko bhi dekh payenge ek video art hai by riyas komu which is absolutely breathtaking mujhe bahut zabardast laga wo kaam abhi aane wala hai wo and then you will also listen to the curator herself during the you know walk through she will talk about all the artworks about the artists the theme the thought process everything so stay with art keeper keep watching art keeper i need your support please subscribe and share and enjoy this exhibition at gallery splash gurgaon This is the video art I was talking about by Riyas Komu. Now, you can see Nasi Sahib and understand this video art. Ko. It's very deep and very disturbing.
all these artworks, all these paintings have a particular line of thought which is based on the last speech given by Charlie Chaplin during the movie The Great Dictator. It has a political uh, undercurrent but the artworks have other meanings also. Jab Jan Payenge, Jab Ap Sunenge, Curator Ki Bate, Wendy Amanda Cotinho. She will talk about all the artwork, she will explain things to you. So have patience and stay with this video. I have not used any background music in this particular video. Basically, I want all of you to uh, listen to the, you know, that vibration, the crowd. I love this work, particular body of work. Uh, this, these are drawings, but uh, this particular artist has used uh, different materials along with lines. So, very interesting works. Hain. And she is an artist, uh, most probably from Maharashtra, I believe. And she will be introduced by the curator later on. So keep watching this video. Up artist mil paenge, jan paenge artist ke baare mein. Or ye jo drawings hain. Again, this shows a lot of things happening in and around our society right now at present. Contemporary conditions jo hain, hamare desh mein. I am talking about India has been portrayed in a way which is very interesting very different and this entire exhibition has been put up in a very beautiful way I am very thankful to the gallery owner Jinoy who permitted me to document this exhibition excellent and unique exhibition and thanks to the curator she also allowed me to you know document the entire thing just stay with this video these are the works of Viraj Nayak, unique, very different. The drawings by Viraj Nayak have got qualities of, you know, caricature, but they capture the essence, the soul of the character. It has some kind of, you know, depth which can't be explained. And this, these are the paper mache kind of uh, wall sculptures. The paper mache works along with the drawings, black and white drawings, line drawings. And the characters are so unique. Very shortly, you are going to listen to the curator and enjoy the walkthrough. So stay with this video.
methodologies of reasserting their ideas, you know, repeating the same thing, emotional cord somewhere. So Hitler used that to manipulate people and uh, you know promote the idea of aggression, of violence. And people believed it. That's what is sad. So what Chaplin did was use the same speech methodologies and he wrote the final speech. And I think close to a century now, it is still so relevant. I mean, you look at you look at the condition of our society today, of our nation today. I'm not going to say much because it's not a political show, but it is the same. Sharam ki baat hai, but sach hai. So when I went to these eight artists and asked and asked them to participate for the show, I didn't go to them asking them to be a part of a political show. I asked them if you were to give your final speech. What would that final speech be? So these eight artists have responded to that theme. So politics is one, existentialism is one, religion is one, personal is one, and AI technology. So there are several aspects that are very dear to these eight artists, and they've um, they've charted on this journey where they have responded to the the curatorial narrative of the show. So we we'll start with Riaz Komu. What you see here are woodcuts, and these are scenes that depict the several atrocities that were committed in the name of religion. And I mean, it really like if you look at the, I urge you to look at every artwork very closely. So what he's done is that he's showcased several images of people killing in the name of religion and like you know obviously political inclinations etc etc so very hard hitting visuals that he's captured here and if you look at this video over here I may explain sometime it's all on you uh, a lot of people's final speech is silence on matters like politics nobody wants to say the wrong thing you know, everyone wants to say the right thing. So, what Nasiruddin Shah in this video does is he breathes heavily, wanting to say so much. His eyes emote the world, but his lips don't move. And that's the sad reality of a lot of us today. And then we have this oil on canvas painting by Riaz again, where the eyes and the mouth are both distorted. You know, we we don't see, we don't want to see and we don't want to say. So that's what this work is all about. Uh, we move to Ratnadeep's artworks. If you all could only like, just move and like come a little closer and take your time, but there's no hurry. So Ratnati works with the idea of existentialism. What exists and what is the nature of existence? These are, I mean, if you, I mean, these are these seem like very simple questions, but they are not. I mean, if you have to really think through, what is existence? Why do you exist? What is your, what is the nature of your existence? But what he's done here is that he's given us, you know, like maybe a little guidance to reach that answer. But that answer will also shape shift over a period of time. So his final speech is, you know, understanding your existence, which is a which is a very long drawn process. It's a lifelong process, you know, it's 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 just going to shape shift and change and it's so fluid. So we have uh, Godavari Parvekar here. She was one of the first women advocates in Maharashtra who led a lot of tribal revolts. And she wrote this book called Jevha Manu Saga Hoto, 
which means it's it's a, it's in marathi it means when a man awakens and awakens ka matlab ye nahi hai that oh your your eyes are open you're awake your soul needs to be awakened to like you know then find they take the next step to understand what existentialism for you is so this is a uh, self awakening of sorts you know then there is self realization so how many of you all are aware of the idea of the ship of theseus so ship of theseus i mean to put it in simple layman terms is if you change all the parts of the ship is it this ship a same ship or does it become a different i'm a kind of movie bhi bana raha hai dekh liye mujhe to nahi dikh raha hai so then again you know we have different ideologies so that's why you see people holding blue books in some cases red books in some cases your ideologies are not just people our ideologies keep shifting so self realization is the next step you know awakening self realization and self actualization is what is depicted in this article so intellectually you move to the next level right that's what is depicted through the staircase here you take your learnings and then you move to the next step so that is so we have self awakening self realization and self actualization so these three steps take you a little close to understanding what existence is and what the nature is and you define it there's no right answer we have works by smriti smriti so smriti is works and if you all come up closer to the artworks i go behind you all come closer and take a look at the artworks come <laughs> so smriti has used you know by products of technology so the idea that she's approached the the curatorial narrative was that with ai and technology superseding and getting so i mean and becoming one with our lifestyle we're losing humanness we're losing you know our body languages have changed our emotions have changed the way we emote has changed emojis is the matter like that let's you know so it's so these are conversations that smriti has tried is trying to have through the artworks but let's not also forget that we are human beings we are creative beings we imagine and we dream and we can't you know we can't we shouldn't let go of that so these artworks are a reminder of all of that over here we have subodh kekar's works what he's used is uh, aluminium tin which is obviously bent out of shape and then put barbed wire over it so we're human beings but why do we let borders define us is the question so if we look at ourselves through the barbed wire our image as a human being is so distorted because we're so ingrained the, the idea the concept of we belong to this place or we belong to this nation or we are this or we are that no you are human beings above anything else it's so these works are a reminder to all of that so we move to the other one so these artworks are by viraj nayar so the masks that you see here are paper mache on wooden panel and uh, and the drawings are in on paper what you see here is a religious depiction of the crucifix the crucifixion of christ so one of the last few words of jesus christ when he was being crucified was i thirst and hearing that the soldier the roman soldier that you know was a part of the whole process of crucifixion he dipped sponge into vinegar and put it near christ's face for him to have some sort of liquid so the idea is even during death a god like a god god with usko pani naseeb nahi hua he didn't get water while he was dying and i i mean and then you know take fast forward 2000 years a lot of us see people who do the right thing or are righteous in a lot of ways and take a stand and you know also what happens to them we all know what happens to them 
and what do we do as people we are just bystanders so the ink on drawing on paper that you see here are those bystanders so this is a commentary using religion and you know drawing parallels with what we are today so this is viraj's work and moving on to kishore's work this is an abstractionist by the by an artist called kishore shinde and what you see in kishore's work is a certain rhythm you know everything sits well you know there are textures there are shapes there are just colors and what he says is that you know when i was drawing when i was painting this canvas it felt like you know these this was all of us you know like different color different shapes different textures different we're so different but you know when you put all of us together we're just one beautiful canvas so this is the thought behind this one with sonia's work so sonia has done these two acrylic on canvas paintings along with the one uh, at the back in green and you see these little watercolor on on paper here sonia where are you say hi hi That's the artist, guys. Yeah. So now come ahead. So the voice is going to come down. Um. So yeah. So now had. Uh, so these works are extremely personal. And uh, when I spoke to Sonia about these, uh, about the curatorial narrative, and and you know, she said she'd come back to me. She said that she wanted to paint something that was extremely personal to her. and this is these artworks are about the loss of a loved one and in sonia's case her father and um, she i remember her telling me that you know she um uh, her life turned upside down i, I don't want to go like in depth about this because i think we're both going to cry uh but she and while she was making this painting she didn't want to grieve it you know she didn't want to grieve that loss because all of us do that but she said that i want to portray things of grace of subtlety which is why you see a sudden shift in the color palette like you know look at all the artworks that you see here but with sonia's works there's a certain sense of subtlety grace humility you know and there's a certain sense of grace in letting go and being grateful for what was so this is her ode to her father Moving on, we have from the piece was we just assembled right a little bit ahead. <laughs> This is the last of it all. So, उसके बाद ही किनारे चले. So Pranati's works uh, nudge the viewer to take a closer look at oneself biologically. Uh, you see red being used, you see uh, threads being used. That's kind of an anecdotal way of of saying that this is you. Yeah, exactly. It kind of reminds me. It, it's it's very biological. It has a biological edge to it. So what she wants you to do is understand the rhythm, you know, the human rhythm, your circadian rhythm, and and be one with yourself. Because are you really one with yourself? Is the question that she poses to people. And her final speech is just be. You know, there is stirta me. There is there is a lot of strength in staying stable, stability. You know, so being one with yourself. And understanding who you really are. So this is what uh, Pranati's works are all about. You know, you see the brain here, which uh, this artwork is called Shades of Sunset. And the uh, when I spoke to her about this work, she was like, you know, it seemed very, uh, it seemed very, uh, what do you call it? Something that you you know you talk about, like you know, uh, in the morning when the sun rises, you rise with the sun. in when the sun sets you set with the sun but she was like when is it really that a lot of us don't are not in sync with 
with the circadian rhythm, with the nature. So she wants to bring your attention to that. So that is her final speech. And um, while I also want to end this, I would say that you know, whenever there is this sense of finality in terms of taking a stand, make it count. Because you know, as much as you'd say that you know your voice is not heard. It's just a drop in the ocean. But I would say that only drops make the ocean. You know, you look at it from the other angle. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching this video. Stay with Artkeeper. Please support Artkeeper. Subscribe and share with your friends and family. Thank you so much.